Thank you for tuning in to coverage of the 2024 Turtle Island Crokinole Championship. This is the B Pool Finals match. Players are effectively fighting for 10th place overall in this tournament. In this matchup, we have Ray Beerling, currently ranked 11th in the National Crokinole Association standings, versus Nolan Tracy, currently ranked 7th. Both these players fared very well at the World Crokinole Championships and are now fighting for the win of this B Pool final. These players last faced off in the third place bout of the Frosty Flick Crokinole Tournament where Ray Beerling took the win. Sure to be an exciting match, let's get right to it. This match is a race to nine and Tracy will start. Before we get too far, I want to note that these are players you would normally see in the A pool. However, given the very tight competition at Turtle Island and the aggressive cutoff of only eight to nine players making it into the A pool, there are a few top tier players down in B, including the two that we have in this B pool finals match today. Tracy made a mistake and Beerling capitalized, now up in the 20s and with Hammer. Tracy's hope is that Beerling will make a mistake, which he doesn't seem to be giving at this point. Nolan comes up short again, leaving a backboard again for Beerling, which completely unrelenting, now at 520s, over halfway through the round, and Beerling is yet to make a mistake. Nolan grinning, <laughs> knowing that this round is over and it's just a matter of whether Beerling will get a perfect round or not. And Nolan makes a joke whether he'll toss out a bad shot, so it's impossible for Ray to get that perfect round. Or being honest, man, which is what he does, goes for the open 20. Heavy hanger for Ray and oh, just misses it. Nonetheless, with 720s, Beerling will take a lead going 2-0 to zero in this match. Quite an intimidating thing to see across the board from you in your first round, having your opponent hit seven out of their eight 20s. Beerling starts the second round, opens yet again, hasn't missed an open 20 yet in this round. Nolan going long this time, perhaps an overcorrection, not to give Beerling any more backboards to work with. Nolan pulls back and might leave a 20 opportunity here for Beerling. Gets a nice touch 20, doesn't get the off with it, but with a 220 lead, 120 lead now, is feeling pretty comfortable. It'll be up to Nolan to either hide or get play back to the center. Beerling more than content to stay on the outside and oh, come on! A beautiful roll in from the outside, catching a post, going in the 20. Not sure if that was intentional. Nolan didn't make a face that Made it seem like it was an accident, so we'll just call that a fantastic shot. Beerling now leaving a backboard. Nolan not quite able to capitalize. We are down to our last two shots. Beerling pushing far. Tracy just needs the off to take the second round, which he does. Very close right up until the end. We see great shots from both players. That touch and this, man, look at this replay. Pretty much from the side of the board. You don't see that very often. That is a fantastic shot. Into the third round now. Tracy has seemed to have found his range on the open 20s. Beerling now to come up short. A potential touch opportunity for Nolan. He gets it with the off to go. Beerling coming up short again. A little bit heavier of a hanger. Nolan doesn't convert the 20, but... Doesn't seem unhappy with that roll away, not leaving Beerling with a lot. Beerling pushes and just barely misses to 20. You see that disc lipped over the center hole. Nolan now with a blunder. Nothing you can do but laugh that off. Beerling with a 20 opportunity, which he capitalizes on. Tracy probably content to play on the outside even though he has to play through the posts he is up a 20 and oh loses it after a very nice hide from Beerling able to get the disc but wasn't able to keep a shooter on now tied in the 20s two shots left for each player matter of who messes up first and Beerling just a little bit long Nolan now content to just pull play back 
make Beerling go for a crazy shot to even tie this round. He takes a second to consider. He'll be looking to push that yellow disc off and then catch a post to come back for the 20. Had the power behind it, but not able to catch a peg, bringing this second round to Tracy, who is now in the lead 4-2. to two. See that very nice hide from Beerling, which got Beerling back into the round, was almost able to take control back to his end. Beerling to shoot first, coming up short. Nolan quick to punish him on that mistake. Beerling a little bit shorter, but not a backboard for Tracy to work with now. Nolan, I'm not sure if he was trying to roll away, but the disc isn't in the nicest position, and oh, unfortunate catch of the post from Beerling there. Loses his shooter, but Nolan's unable to get the open 20. And Beerling gets a double, caught the post, and almost came back for a 20 of his own. Definitely putting up a fight to get back in this round. We're at the halfway mark now. Tracy is up at 20 and with the hammer advantage. Beerling needs to make something happen and Nolan's going to be happy to keep play on the outside of the board on his side. Beerling most likely now to try to catch a post. Unfortunate. Caught some posts but not the disc with it. Lost his shooter. Now Nolan punishes him with an open 20. This round will be going to Nolan bringing the score 6-2. to two. Players taking their last shots, just getting warmed up on their open 20s again. Inconsequential. Nolan wins that fourth round. See him punishing Beerling on that backboard. And you see that super close attempt. A very nice double cleaning up the board. And almost a 20 off the post. Nolan is really dialed in on those open 20s. Beerling keeps coming up short, but at least not giving Nolan more backboards to work with. Oh, nice push. Just a little bit to the right of the center, but very close to a 20. Nolan with a few catches of the pegs ends up in the side of the 15 and not leaving Beerling a lot to work with. And nice defensive play from Tracy. Leaving Beerling's disc on the board, Beerling will be forced to peel everything. If he doesn't, Nolan will keep play on the outside and take the round. This does give Nolan an open 20 opportunity, but it could also give Beerling an opportunity like this. Oh, just goes long on the backboard. Tracy now. Oh, he was trying to roll away, but caught that post, went back for the 20. That facial expression tells me everything I need to know. That was definitely planned and calculated. <laughs> Beerling gets an open 20, but... He's going to have to angle in, and that doesn't look to be the nicest spot. Looks like that left post is in the way. See what Beerling's able to line up. He takes his time with this shot. He might just try to get the disc into a better position for his last shot. But, okay, he's calling the shot far post, a close post to 20. A little bit of a Z shape. Unfortunate, catches the closest post to him, but he might be better set up on his next shot. Nolan keeps his disc on the board. Beerling now with one last opportunity to angle in. And oh, just to the right of it. Tracy will take this round, bring this score 8-2. to two. Do not let the score deceive you. This has been a very close match. Each round has been down to the last one or two shots. And that crazy catch of a post. Man, Nolan, for someone who doesn't like to be on camera, you sure take lots of shots that are worth replaying. <laughs> Tracy now has Hammer in this match. Beerling missed that first open 20, but makes up with it by catching that post. Nolan gives a nod of acknowledgement, then goes long on his open 20. We'll see if Beerling goes on the defensive now. He keeps play further on his side of the board. Definitely no drop back opportunity here. Play closer to the center now. Ray pushes for that follow through. Almost caught the post back for another 20. 
Oh, there is definitely a touch 20 opportunity here. Barely lining up the best angle. Goes a little bit long. Tracy now with the win just at his fingertips is fighting for that 20. Looks as though Beerling is going more on the defensive. We'll be trying to roll away. Pushes all the way through. Definitely not a bad shot getting play on the outside. Beerling will be content. Even if it's on the further side of the posts. That is no big deal for these top players. Nolan looked like he was trying to roll more behind the post. But didn't quite get it. Tracy now needs to somehow get in. Not seeing how he'll line this up. Looks like he was trying to catch that closer post. You saw it get into the 15, but not quite. You see that beautiful bounce back 20 from Beerling. Score now, 8-4 to four for Tracy. Again, if Tracy even ties around at this point, he will take the win. So Beerling cannot accept a loss or a tie. Takes his time with the open 20. See both players a lot more patient with their shots now. They know what each round means at this late stage of the game. Nolan now at 320s. Beerling follows suit. As they have less and less shots, the pressure is more on. If you get down to the 620 and then miss, you don't have a lot of time to make up for it. And Beerling messes up and each player has half their shots remaining. Still has time to get back in this round. Beerling will most definitely be fighting for a 20. And he gets it. Beautiful shot. Three shots remaining for each player now. Tracy keeping on the pressure. Beerling does have hammer. And oh, comes up short. Tracy now will most likely just be trying to keep play away. Doesn't get the off and leaves it close to the center. If Beerling can get this follow through, Tracy will be in a tough spot. Just goes long. Oh, what a beautiful shot from Tracy. A masterclass defensive play that has all but sealed this round. Beerling needs an off and a 20, and Nolan has all but denied that by posting his final shot. Beerling might be able to get a bounce back 20 off that. He might be able to get the off and stay in the 15, but that won't be enough to win, and he can't accept a tie. Beerling trying to figure something out here, but I don't think there's anything he can do. That is snug on the post, and Nolan knows it. Beerling looking at his options here, and again, I really don't think there's anything he can do, but... Blast it and hope for the best. What an incredible, incredible defensive shot. If you're new to Crokinole, take notes because that is masterclass. And that seals it. Tracy wins and is first place in the B pool. We see some highlights. See a nice follow through from Beerling. But this again, this defensive shot that guaranteed Tracy the win. Fantastic play from both players. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for the Turtle Island Crokinole Championship Finals coming out this Saturday, August 10th between Andrew Hutchinson, currently ranked third in the National Crokinole Association standings versus Josh Carfiello, currently ranked fourth. Thank you again for tuning in. If you like this content, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more Crokinole action. Make it a great day.